Hello friends, good morning. Myself C. Patel. Today I am going to discuss about the topic ASTM grain size measurement. The grain size in a polycrystalline material is determined in order to get the information about its mechanical strength. ASTM grain size measurement is the most common method for grain size measurement and this method is devised by American Society for Testing and Materials. The STM has prepared several standards comparison charts all having different grain sizes. To each grain size a number that is n that is grain size number is assigned to it and the value of a small n ranges from 1 to 10. Okay, so this is the basic formula for the grain size measurement. This is given by the ASTM in which capital N denotes average number of grains per square inch at a magnification of 100, where a small n is the grain size number which, which, which value varies from 1 to 10. Okay, for the magnification other than 100, the equation 1 changes to that is the average grain size per square inch at magnification m into magnification m divided by 100 to the whole square equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 where nm is the number of grains per square inch at the magnification of m so basically the first formula the first formula we can use at the magnification of 100 and the second formula we can use for any magnification okay so let's do some questions on it so this is the first question on decreasing grain size on decreasing grain size which of the following statement is correct? First is grain size number that is n decreases. Second is grain size number increases. Capital N that is the number of grain present in 1 square inch increases and capital N decreases. Okay. So the basic formula is capital N equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 when we take log both side it will be equal to n equal to 1 plus log of n divided by log of 2 okay when we decrease the grain size when we decrease the grain size then the number of grain when we decrease the grain size then the number of grains per square inch increases for example if this is the area of 1 square inch and if we have larger grains so the number will be less but if we have a smaller grains then it will have more number of grains in 1 square inch of area so when we decrease the grain size the number of grains per square inch increases and the number of grain per square inches per square inch is denoted by capital N. So when we decrease the grain size capital N increases. So option C is correct and from this equation we see that if capital N increases then a small n that is the grain size number also increases. So on decreasing grain size, a small n as well as capital N both increases. So the correct answer is B and C. Now come to the next question. The question is, for an ASTM grain size number of 5, calculate the number of grains per inch square at magnification of 100. Okay. So generally we have to use the formula that is capital N 
equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 where capital N is the number of grains per inch square at the magnification of 100 and a small n that is grain side number is given that is 5 so you have to put here that will be equal to 2 to the power 4 and it will give you 16 grains per inch square so it is equal to 16 grains per inch square so this is the answer for the first a question and uh, this is the b part in b part we have to find the total number of grains per inch square without any magnification okay so basically we have to use the formula of this that is by 100 square equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 here the magnification is 0 you we ha have one huge any magnification so if the magni if there is no magnification then the value of m will be equal to 1 okay so in this case n of 1 m that is 1 divided by 100 square equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 and the value of 2 to the power n minus 1 that is 2 to the power 5 minus 1 and i have calculated already that is 16 so value of n1 will be equal to 16 into 100 into 100 and this will be equal to 16 0 0 0 0 grains per inch square so basically n1 is the number of grains per inch square without any magnification so this is the answer for the part b okay now come to the third question this question has been asked in gate metallurgy 2008 and basically the question is the STM grain size number of a material which shows 64 grains per square inch so we have given the value of n capital N that is 64 at a magnification of 200 and magnification that is m equal to 200 okay and we have to find out the value of a small n that is grain size number okay so we can utilize here the second equation that is n at 200 equal to 200 divided by 100 to the whole square equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 n at 200 is 64 and this will be equal to 4 equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 okay the left hand side will be equal to 2 to the power 8 and this will be equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 on solving n will be equal to 9 so in this case d is the correct answer n equal to 9 is the correct answer so the grain size number will be 9 in that case now let's solve the first fourth question and this is the last one the STM grain size number if 30 grains per square inch are measured at a magnification of 250 each okay again we have to calculate the value of n okay so here the capital N capital N at the magnification of 250 is given as 30 so just apply this formula N 250 divided by 250 into sorry divided by 100 to the whole square equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 
and again we have to calculate the value of n okay so the value of this is 30 and this will be equal to 5 by 2 this will be equal to 5 by 2 to the whole square equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 now we have to take log on both sides so taking the log both sides this will be equal to log of when you multiply it solve it you will get 375 by 2 and this will be equal to n minus 1 log 2 so the value of n will be 1 plus log 375 by 2 divided by log 2 when we find the value when we solve it by using our scientific calculator we will get 8.55 so this is the correct answer for this so this is the end of this lecture thank you very much